So I've been trying to do my spray it video for a while and I just haven't been able to get up the energy to do it. Um, however, we're gonna try and do it now. We just got back from a show. So as you can maybe see, he uh, was very quickly um, broken down um, or had his, his spray broken down. Sorry, I just realized I'm forgetting a band that I normally do. I then really quickly threw him back up in some bands and uh, I'm going to, those bands are not in there super pretty and his bubble is very hastily pulled. But this is just gonna give you an idea of, uh, of what to do to do a spray up. So I have him banded as I would for a show. Um, if you need a video on that, I have another video somewhere. And the tools I have are hairspray. This is not a hairspray that I like, um, cause I don't find it has enough hold for me, but it, uh, it's the one I'm gonna use today because my hairspray has become hard to find and uh, I don't want to waste it. Um, if you're wondering what I usually use, I usually use Aussie um, Instant Freeze. Um, as I find that that gives me the best hold and it doesn't leave too much flakiness. Um, and I have my brush. I like this kind of smaller oblong brush. It's an Encore. I have a Madden, I think it's the Poodle comb or something. It's a big wide tooth comb. And then I have a pick. Um, you want one with quite wide teeth, so I actually had to pull some of the teeth out of this guy because um, it was the best one I could find. And the hairspray, and that's pretty much all I need. I have some random tools from throwing him up. Um, so like I guess that he was—he's been very hastily and quickly um, taken out of this hairspray. So this is going to not look like a a fresh hairspray. It's going to look like a dirty hairspray, pretty much. Um, but what I'm going to start with is a put on your collar. I'm not going to put a collar on him today because I'm not doing that. Um, he's not going anywhere. He's just going to hop in the bath right after, but put on your collar before you start spraying up. Otherwise you have issues. If, if you're using a chain, you can try and wiggle it in there and then just attach it together, um, with your, uh, with your lead to hold it in place. But Save yourself the hassle, put on your leash and collar. Sorry, just your collar, your leash is not going. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to start is I'm going to make sure his hair is roughly evenly distributed side to side um, so that you don't end up with a ton of hair off one side or the other side. If you're gonna have a little bit more hair on one side, you probably want it a little bit more on show side to give that a thicker look. Um, but overall you want it pretty evenly, evenly placed. The area where I find that gets most important is doing the head here. So once I have the bands in, I'll just try and bring a little bit back at a time to um, try and get it somewhat even across both sides. Again, he's in a half sprayed up state at the moment. So we'll just do what we can. It's not going to look perfect just to give you the ideas. Okay. So <laughs> ignore this, ignore the bubble. It's very poorly done, but it was just to give you, you know, there is some amount of bubble there. So what I'm going to start with, I'm going to place my hand on to hold between the bands here, just to give it some support, making sure that it's sitting straight. It's not flopped over here or flopped over there. It's sitting pretty straight. I'm going to splay out the fan to make it look uh, nice, even, and, uh, and a nice shape. I'm going to take my spray and I'm going to just kind of lightly spray that. And I'm going to have to spray a decent amount with this guy because he doesn't shoot out a whole lot of stuff at once. And I'm just going to, again, gently put the hair where I want it to be, and I'm going to gently pull just the front wave or forward. Just kind of 
negates what I just did on the fan, but it makes me feel better for doing it. Plus this hairspray just ooh, does not work. Okay, so you wanna pull just teeny layers forward. And again, you wanna make sure that you're somewhat even. You don't have a ton of hair here rather than here, or a ton of hair here rather than there. You want somewhat even. And then you're gonna spray again. Again, with my regular hairspray, I don't have to go that many times, but you wanna make sure that you have a lot of spray at the base, because the base is what's gonna give everything the support that it needs. If you don't have spray at the base, it's all just gonna sag down. However, you don't want to overspray um, you don't want to overspray anything. You don't want it to become wet, hard, and crunchy looking. Um, that tells you that you sprayed too much. You want it to kind of keep still that soft look about it. Um, but you need to make sure that you're getting enough. Um, so you kind of have to play around with that. And right now I'm spraying mostly just the bottom, probably kind of third to half or so of the hair. I'm not going up at the tips yet. The tips we'll figure out later. Some people do it as they go, and some people will kind of put it all together at the end. So once I've gotten a couple of things done, I like to go back and just revisit my front piece and make sure that it's sitting nicely. It's not doing something weird. So as you can see, we're kind of getting that place nicely so it looks kind of even and and um like nicely not wavy or chunky or anything like that so every time you go you're going to do just little pieces at a time as you can see here we've just got a small amount that we've got going yet and i'm also going to use my brush to brush back the rest of the hair so that it's separated like so when I go to pull up a small piece, the whole thing isn't gonna come with because it's kind of stuck together. And again, making sure that you're relatively evenly or evenly centered your hair. You don't have a ton on one side. And let me go here. And again, the amount of times or, that you're gonna need to go back and forth with your hairspray is gonna depend on um, how much your spray sprays at a time. This guy does not spray a whole lot at a time, so I have to go quite a bit back and forth. So you wanna make sure that you're doing the whole spray. You know, you don't want to just do your front parts and then your bottom parts aren't uh, getting fluffed up and into place and getting hairspray and that kind of thing. So as you can see, each time I'm just adding a small bit I tend to try and kind of fix it up at the end because I find otherwise I sometimes get this too squished. You don't want to squish. You don't want to use a lot of pressure when you're putting your hairspray up because if you're pushing, A, you're flattening that spot out, but you're also squishing it all together. But we want volume. We want lots it to look like there's tons of hair. And so if you're squishing it all together, it's just gonna look this real small. Um, so you don't wanna do that, especially since what you want is the majority of your volume back here. Your length of volume you want back here. So if you have this all squished forward, you're not gonna get that length of volume back there. And again, just taking small bits. I'm maybe taking a little bit of larger bits here because I am ready to get them in the tub and get done grooming for the day. But you can pull little bits forward. And then if you think you pulled stuff forward, um, but you can kind of tell if it's stuck or not. So if you've got stuff that hasn't stuck, just bring it back because that means your section was too big and you want to just bring it back. Let me see, keep doing these small sections. I haven't touched this top part yet, so you can see that that isn't really doing anything yet. So we're just literally gonna keep going with this. 
So I really don't like that hairspray. Some people might like it, but I personally don't. You gotta find the hairspray that you like. Cause I've tried hairsprays that some people have absolutely loved and I've hated it. And some people have tried the hairsprays that I love and absolutely hated them too. So it's just uh, trial and error based on your personal preference of how much hold you want and where you live and your humidity and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna keep going. Sometimes I'll take my hand away so I can gently hold back the other hair that I'm not wanting to come forward yet so that it doesn't get pulled forward as well. Again, you can see we're starting to get more and more of the head. Personally, my least favorite part of spray ups is trying to get this part looking great, the, uh, the tips. But I found that if I try and do them at the start, then it sometimes can end up too squished looking. So I just tidy, try and tidy up at the end. Again, little pieces. Hopefully you can somewhat see what I'm doing. I'm just gently, again, some of my hair is a little bit stuck together because he's been sprayed up already today and just very lightly taken down. So my plan was just to take him down lightly, drive home, and pop him in the tub. But that's okay. It's just gonna look, like I said, like a dirty hairspray rather than a clean one. I'm gonna drop my brush. So yeah, so when I'm taking my my sections and light with the brush. I prefer doing a brush. Some people will use a comb. I like to use my comb at the end, but I'm light. I'm not squishing. Very little sections. And you wanna make sure that, again that it's even when you're pulling it up, you're also doing it evenly between the, the top and sides. You know, you don't want it all up, but you don't want it all to the sides so and your top is flat either. You want it quite even, so you got enough framing the face, but you also got enough height. Because of course, if you have height up here, now of course there's a limit, everything has to be in balance. But if you have height up here, you can help create the look of a longer um, neck. But again, your highest point you want at the back of the head, not at the front of the head, which is a big, I know it's an issue I definitely had, have on the, the whole journey I've had with this dog and my last dog, is that uh, it was always like length, length, length. You need length, never cut your length. You want so much length, but your length still has to be balanced. So I actually, don't have as much length up here anymore, especially in the front, as um, I used to think that I needed. So as you see, that's what we're coming along there. And you know, it's not, not perfect yet. We're not tidying everything up yet. We'll do that a little bit later. And I'm gonna keep going side to side till I get to the neck. Like kind of right behind the last foot, right kind of behind my last bands. And then I will start um, doing the neck. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, but you can see I'm just taking little sections, bringing them up. I need to use my hand to gently hold back the other hair. I can try not to get your ear hair. Okay. And I am just about at my last band here. As you can see, the head is getting some volume. One 
one more, one more band section. This is a bit of a smaller section here. It's just to help kind of blend everything between the uh, more thicker banded sections up the front and the uh, neck piece so that I try not to create a hole. I'm gonna do one more layer. So I've hit my last band of his occiput. So I'm gonna do one more layer up. Just again, I'm gonna want to make sure that I'm not creating a hole here. Um, so I'm gonna do one more section up. This section tends to get sprayed down to the base more than any other section. And just gently do that section up. Slightly awkward to do with the um, camera and the tripod lens right there, but we're making do. Okay, so his head is essentially up. You could go back here now and start to tidy. So I'm just going to lightly push stuff back. I'm going to spray a little bit towards the ends. And I'm going to lightly push the next section back. Again, you want most of your volume to, and length to be there. So that's why I'm pushing stuff back. However, you also don't want your dog to look like he's been through the wind and everything is shoved back. So again, you want to be gentle. You want to be light. You don't want to be pushing stuff back really hard and strong where you're going to create that look. You're just trying to kind of tie this area up, connect it to other pieces so that it, uh, it looks good. As you can see, that's starting to create a bit more of a tidy look at the top. Again, this is not a fresh spray up, so it's uh, going to look a little bit more PC and not quite as uh, um, effortless as uh, if this wasn't a, uh, a spray up that's done on barely taking down hair. Okay. Okay, so we've somewhat got his head somewhat. Like, once we're done, we're gonna come in, we're gonna take our comb, we're gonna try and break up anything that's that's there. But as you can see, we've got the headpiece somewhat done. So, what we're gonna deal with next is this neck part. So, I am going to part his hair roughly in the middle. And I'm gonna try and kind of brush the stuff that I parted up against the, uh, the head piece that we've got already. And I'm just gonna kind of part it in the middle. And then I'm going to spray down on our base between the two Layers. Hopefully, you can see we're right in here. See where it parts. That's where we're gonna spray. And again, you want to have enough in there that's gonna give you hold. It's probably gonna be a bit more than you think, but you don't want so much that things are getting looking wet and crunchy. Again, I have to look like I'm using a ton of this spray just because it does not spray. A lot out at once. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I've been doing on the head is that I'm just going to take little bits and I'm gonna brush them um, up into what's already there and I want to do it in a bit of a lifting motion because you don't want a whole bunch of bulk at the back of your spray up. You want um, to have this 
be your highest and kind of strongest part. And you want this almost to look like it scoops into there a little bit. But the fact that you want the jacket to look lifted, you want everything to be up and forward. You don't want it to be sagging back and down because that's going to make your dog look dumpy. So I'm going to keep going that way. I like to start at the back of the jacket and work my way up. And I use this other hand to gently hold the hair down. I want to be, don't want to be pulling because that's not going to place things where you think you're placing them. Um, but I'm just going to gently hold the rest of the hair back. Again, just small sections and you're bringing it all up you want to get a little bit of your spray on the back of the head piece so that it's going to hold that stuff as well little sections lifting them up and the neck, I mean, again, all this depends a little bit on your dog's build, on your preference of your spray ups, that kind of thing. But generally your head is slightly wider than your neck. Your neck tends to come in a little bit tighter on the sides um, so that it gives, again, more of that elegant long neck. If you've got too much bulk hanging down off your sides, then it's going to make your dog look like it um, has a squattier, shorter neck. Again, I'm not worrying about the top hair. I'm just putting hair at the base, around one third, maybe one half ish up the uh, up the coat. I am pulling that hair in just to make sure that it's going where it needs to be, and that things are sticking to that top piece. Tidy the part between them later because right now this hair is just all loose. It's not, it's not connected. It's just loose. I know it's hard to see on a black dog. I'll see if I can lighten this a bit in the post production. Um, but uh, yeah, we're just worrying about the base right now. You want to use a little bit less as you come to these shorter hairs here because they don't need as much hold. And you want the judge to not be like, whoa, you've used so much hairspray. All right, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. I may or may not cut this part out just because you won't be able to see it. I don't have enough room, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna part the hair roughly down the middle. And I'm going to Spray it up in exactly the same way as I did the other side. Doing the base, just pulling it up and into the headpiece. And then doing the next section. Again, you can brush down the next section if it's starting to come up too much. Brush up that section. Again, just small sections. The biggest thing is small sections and uh, not squishing stuff together. Just light hand. Light hand so that you're not squashing because if you're squashing, everything's gonna become real tight, real narrow, and it won't be nearly as flattering. I'm gonna rush through this side just a little bit just because you guys can't see it anyways. Make it look somewhat decent. I might do a circle around him when he's fully sprayed up because people have been asking for that too. He won't be fully fluffed because, sorry, but <laughs> it's been a long day. Okay, so I've got mostly this side done. So now I'm gonna start putting it together a little bit more at the ends from kind of the neck back. So I'm gonna just gently part the hair again, not, I don't wanna part it past where I've sprayed. 
because that's just going to pull apart what you've already done. You want just part the tips. Stay ready. And I'm going to do pretty much the exact same motion that I did for the rest of it. I'm going to do for the tips. So I'm just going to pull it up and put my, uh, my fullest, longest kind of section up at the top. And again, you want to use a little bit less spray on your tips because A, it won't look so hard and crunchy. You'll get a little bit less um, cast if your hairspray leaves a bit of a cast. Um, and uh, it'll weigh your hair down if, uh, if it's uh, too much spray. And again, you really don't want that wet, crunchy look. You want it to look as light and as um, individual hairs as you can. And you want your dog to be somewhat staying with his head where it should be. If your dog can't do this, you can use a grooming arm, like one of those chin resty things, as long as it's keeping your dog's head back and in position or have a friend help hold your dog's head. But it's ideal if you just train your dog to somewhat stay. You know, they can move a smidge and you can still get it done. Um, but they should stay roughly where you want them when they're moving or when they're showing because otherwise your spray up's not gonna go in the right places. That's the other thing, if you go and you grab something, if it's still quite wet from hairspray, you're gonna get a real squishy, wet look to it. You have to be careful with that, that if you're wanting to go grab something, that you don't squish it too hard and you pay attention to uh... Okay, so as you can see, we roughly got our basic shape. See how it's... See how we've got a lot of kind of volume here. I'll lift up just a smidge. Volume here. This needs to be pulled back just a little bit yet um, and possibly trimmed. Um, each spray up always turns out just a little bit different. Um, so you usually have to do a little bit of trimming, um, but um, you just want to look at that overall shape once you're done. But as you can see, we've got a decent amount of volume back here. So we want length here and length and kind of volume here, but we don't want this section to be way longer than this section. We want to have it almost even slightly have the feeling of going up here. So now that we've got him roughly put together, that's when you go back and you just tinker with things. You take, this is where I generally put the brush away or throw it on the ground like I just did. And you want to go more with your combs and with your picks. So I just take kind of my ends and I just fluff them out. I want to make sure that I haven't squished all my, my ends in because then you're going to lose your length. And I'm going to lightly spray over the top. Again, this is not a section that I find I'm best at. Not that I'm the best at any of this, but I find that uh, I'd much rather set the base than to try and tinker with the, the tips to get them in. But anything that you feel that's falling, not sitting right, is too squished together, you just want to pull just the ends. You don't want to do it roughly. You don't want to be pulling at your spray up a ton because you're going to create more um, cast and white flakies. But if you feel like you've got something real that you've squished together too much, then you can gently pick that apart. I won't pick apart the other side too much because again, it's not easy for you guys to see that side. It looks much more PC on camera than it does in real life because you're seeing through with the uh, light. And I've got a bit with the way his hair is, I've probably taken a little bit too much and put it up, 
up instead of to the side because of uh, just how I have to do his spray up. Um, so that's why you're seeing a little bit more of that PC look as well. It doesn't look that PC in real life. So I'm just gonna pick at it. You're gonna make sure your front isn't coming too far forward. Tuck those sides in. You want the front part to, you know, slightly, slightly have a rounded back look, not crazy. You don't want it, again, to look. But then you're just gonna tidy up your ends. You can use your hands to gently push things in. And again, you're wanting to have your length and your volume at the back of the head. That's one of the biggest things that I think people have trouble with. It's certainly the biggest thing that I have had trouble with is getting the volume here rather than having a bunch of height here, that kind of thing. It's, um, it's so much more important to have your volume and your height at the back. Okay, so you roughly see here again, it doesn't look as PC on there, but I mean, it's gonna look PC anyways, because he's from a uh, barely broken down spray up, so he's just going to be a little bit PC. It's just the way it's gonna be. Okay, so once you have your dog essentially the way you want it, what you also need to make sure you do is you need to make sure that you look at your dog while it's standing in proper position. So I'm just gonna put my, usually at a show, I'd probably put them on the ground. Hop up, hop up, hop up, hop up. But because uh, I might have a table that lowers so far down and I have a small space to do this in, I, uh, I'm gonna just, okay. So once you've got your dog sprayed the way you think you're lying down, you're going to want to look at your dog standing up because this will slightly change it. Like if you're gonna trim anything off the side of your dog spray up, cause you're like, oh, this is pulling it down, stand your dog up first. If you don't stand your dog up first, you're gonna probably take too much off of your sides or, or something because as much as they are close-ish to the way you want them to look when they're lying down with their head back and that kind of thing. It's not exactly how they're gonna look when they stand up. So as you can see here, we've got a little divot right there. So that's something that we want to make sure that we pull out. So we need a little spray. I'm just gonna pull this section out. I want to make sure this section is pulling up. So we fill that in a little bit. Again, the camera makes it look like he's a lot more PC than he is. He's actually not that PC. And there, so we fixed up that hole. Head back. And as you can see, the rough kind of shape that we've got going there. Okay. Not too long here, and then having more volume, making sure we have volume at this back here. And again, this is something, again, I'm not using my best hairspray, so it's not staying as well as I would like, but you get the basic idea. If I were to be scissoring this right now, I would scissor this a little bit, because right now it's looking a little bit too kind of flat here, like this is pulled out um, it's just too long. Um, but since he's, like I said, he's, he's been barely taken down from his last spray up. And so things are not necessarily the way they would look if he had been sprayed up from scratch or taken down better before I put him up. Um, but that is roughly kind of the shape and the idea you're going for is having your volume here, having this scoop. See how this scoops in? 
If this was all hanging out the back, see if I can push it that way. Obviously there's a giant hole there now, but you get the idea. That was all hanging out the back. See how that no longer looks lifted here? So it's something I try to trim so that it doesn't have that look. And it's also something I do when I go to stack him is I push my hand in here till probably I had a hands width back from the withers. I push my hand back here and pull that jacket forward. But it also helps to ensure they're not roaching their back or getting stiff in their back. So I push my hand in to about there to help make sure that I'm getting that lifted look. Okay, and then obviously I kind of messed up his hair here from doing that, but that is kind of the idea we are roughly going for. And it takes a while. Maybe for some people it takes less time, but I've been showing this dog for a year and a half, relatively consistently, I think. And uh, I just kind of feel, felt like I've mostly gotten it within the last couple shows. Um, there's been shows that have been kind of good and there's been shows that the spray up has been kind of bad. Um, but that is kind of roughly um, the idea you're going for. And be patient with yourself if it takes time. 